Hi and welcome to this weekend update. This will be just a short video to let you know what I've been uh, working on lately and uh, what projects I have planned ahead. So uh, one of the things I did uh, this week was to print a bunch of uh, parts on my uh, Creality CR10 3D printer. And ever since I uh, installed my uh, BL Touch um, auto bed leveling sensor, the printer has been working very smoothly. I get um, very nice and smooth first layers and uh, that auto bed leveling feature that it does uh, before every print, it's, it's really, really nice. And it's even visible that the head uh, goes to the same distance away from the bed every single time. And it's, it's been awesome. I've also switched to using a brim in my slicer settings for the uh, first layers. So my adhesion problems are gone. I get a very good addition with each print right now. So those are repeatable results. I'll do a video next week showing you how to install your own build touch sensor on a uh, Creality CR10. And honestly, for me, it's been the best upgrade I did to this uh, 3D printer. And I highly recommend you install one of these uh, sensors on your own. You can get a clone like I did. It's cheaper, it works. Not sure uh, in the long run if it's going to be as reliable as the original, but if you can afford the original BL Touch sensor, get the original. Uh, the parts I uh, talked about printing are for building uh, a, a helical 5.8 gigahertz uh, antenna. So I found the design files for this while uh, browsing on Thingiverse and I thought I'd try to build one of these um, for 5.8 GHz for my uh, FPV system. This is a 7-turn helical antenna. It's uh, right-hand circular uh, polarized and uh, you get pretty much all the um, uh, info you need to build uh, one of these uh, from the author. In theory, this antenna should have about uh, 12 decibels of gain uh, at the expense of a narrower uh, receiving angle. Now, I don't have access to any equipment to measure something like this or characterize it in, uh, in any way. So I'm just gonna have to test it uh, practically on the field and see if I get any advantages over, let's say, a uh, patch antenna. But I think uh, it's going to work fine and I think I'm going to notice uh, an improvement uh, in long-range um, transmission with this uh, helical antenna. As you can see, it's uh, not finished yet. I still have to cut a piece of um, uh, PCB uh, to act as the uh, ground plane of the antenna. Another project I'm uh, working on is a uh, precision reference box because I review multimeters on the channel and it would be nice to have a good precision uh, resistor box that I could use as a reference and uh, compare the accuracy of the multimeters I review. So I started a discussion with the Vichy Precision Group and uh, asked them if they could send me some of their uh, VHP100 uh, foil resistors. These are insanely stable uh, resistors. They're built using a uh, technology proprietary to Vichy uh, Precision Group. They are hermetically sealed. So here they are. They sent me uh, three values, 1K, 10K and 100K. And they have also kindly uh, measured these uh, with a seven digit multimeter. Uh, you can see these are individually serial numbered, so I'm assuming they keep track of every resistor that leaves their factory. Once again, these are not your uh, average uh, precision resistors. These are, like uh, Dave would like to say, the duck's guts in the world of uh, precision resistors. And I have to thank Vichy because they have agreed to uh, send me some of these as uh, free samples. So there will be a separate video where I will uh, build these into a reference box, um, into an enclosure uh, with some nice uh, high quality four millimeter connectors. So hopefully it will turn out uh, into a very nice uh, resistor reference box. Another topic is my uh, in the mail videos. I know those are uh, very appreciated by many of my viewers and they would like to see more of those. 
So um, I'm working on the next one. It uh, should be ready in about two weeks. I still have to wait for uh, some things to be delivered from China, but it should be done in about two weeks time. So don't worry, there is another one coming. That's about all I had to uh, share with you for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.